Yay Star Call Center Solution is now equipped it with the Priority Queue feature. With this feature, we can scientifically plan our distribution mechanism for the call center by granting different levels of priority for every queue. Therefore, when we assign the same agent for multiple queues, the feature makes sure that callers from the higher priority queue will be answered first. In the meantime, we also offer dynamic priority based on waiting time. We're providing tools to balance between urgent callers and those waiting for a long time, maximizing working efficiency for the call center as well as guaranteeing client satisfaction. In this video, we'll explain how to set up the priority queue. First of all, please upgrade the PCR system to the latest version. Then we log into the admin interface. Go to Call Features. Here we find queue. Then we click into the queue we want to set up. And go to Preferences. Find Priority Queue. And switch it on. And wait, we can put in a number to specify the initial priority of the queue. If this queue shares the same agents with other queues, then a call comes in, the system will compare this weight with other queues and assign the callers from the higher priority queue to shared agents first. Of course, if there are dedicated agents available, then the queue priority will not take effect and costs will be distributed directly. With the weight, we can define the initial priority of the queue, but we do not want the callers in the lower priority queue to wait for too long so we can go on to enable acceleration wait. Here we can define a waiting time. For example, we set 30 here. It means that for every 30 seconds a call waits in this queue, the wait will be added by one to the initial priority. Say we have two queues, the first wait set as 10 and the other with eight, and they share one same agent. When there's a call waiting in each queue, the call from QA will be sent to the agent as it has higher initial priority, but as the call from QB waits. Its priority gets to be added by 1 every 30 seconds. Say after 2 minutes, the first two call finished, now there's another call comes in from QA. The call from QA comes with a priority weight of 10, but the call from QB now has 8 initial weights, plus 1 weight for each 30 second waiting time. It means this call now comes with the new weight of 8 plus 4 equals 12, which is higher. So the call from QB will be sent to the agent first. Despite this example, we can surely define a shorter or longer waiting time in the acceleration weight according to our call center. Alright, so that was how we set up a priority queue for our call center. This way we can have both initial ways to decide which queue is more important and in the meanwhile, balance the waiting time for the lower priority queue. This way we can make full advantage of limited resources of our call center and ensure service quality.